Yes. In this session, we'll discuss how to perform global transfer, then how we can go for terminate employees, and how we can go for rehire the employees. This we are going to discuss. Okay, let's go to Navigator, my client groups. Let me hire new employee here. So whenever we are working with uh, global transfer, we are supposed to have two legal entities because we want to transfer the employee from one legal employer to another legal employer. Means from one company to another company. Okay, so I'm going to take two legal employers here. Okay, so US one legal entity, other one is US two legal entity. You transfer from here to here will be terminated here and it will be hired here. Here it will be terminated and it will be hired here. Let's see this. So we have already one legal employer, we pro legal entity, November US, and we'll try to transfer from this legal entity to we pro limited US. We'll transfer to this. Okay. So let me hire employee on this date. So I'm just mentioning the employee name as uh, GT underscore WP. Global transfer, just for naming convention, I'm putting it. It's, let's go ahead uh, with the date of birth and national identifier. Let me take this social. Our system is showing that uh, there is some matching person records. Do you want to continue or you want to go for cancel? So the person is uh, matching at social security number. Okay, so let me change the social security number here. Go ahead.
Now we have hired an employee successfully. Let me check the user account here. So we can search here itself, person management. Now go to manage user account here. Now we can find the username is this last name dot first name and the status is active. This is. So it's not mandatory that we must have any user account to perform. Uh, global transfer or uh, transfer because uh, user account is not mandatory for every employee for the client right for example let's say we are implementing human capital management for apollo hospitals let's say they have total 20000 employees out of 20000 employees only 3000 employees will use this application the remaining 17000 employees are working in non-IT department or they are working in another application. They don't use this uh, fusion applications. Then they don't need this username and password, right? This is not required. This is not required. So that's the reason uh, it's up to the client requirement whether they want to have the user account for every employee or not, okay? I'll show you where do we configure that setup, whether we want to have a user account for every employee or not that I'll show you. So now the user account has generated successfully, but anyway, that's not required for us to perform the global transfer. Okay. Next, uh, we are going for uh, performing the global transfer. We are going to perform global transfer. Here it is. Cancel. Whenever we want to do the global transfer, we have to go to edit. Update, action, here we can find global transfer. Here we can find global transfer. Choose this. What is the reason? Career progression. Now it is asking us, what is the destination legal employer? Currently, this employee is working for Wipro legal employer from 2021. Okay, now we would like to go for global transfer it means it will be terminated here and it will be rehired here so i'm going to choose another company within the enterprise i'm going to say that here wipro limited us wipro limited us here let's go for wipro limited us here and now system is asking do you want to copy primary assignment data what is mean by primary assignment information? This, whenever we hire any employee, we will find an assignment. We can also have multiple assignments that we will be discussing in the next topic called employment models. There is a concept called employment model where we will find two tier, three tier, multiple assignments. So what is mean by assignment? Assignment is nothing but a set of information which we are going to hire for a particular an employee job position grade like this, right? So here we can find assignment information. Do you want to copy this primary assignment data? If you say yes, then we don't need to enter this assignment details again over there because the information will be copied automatically to over there into the second legal entity. Let me go for copy this information and I'm going to copy primary assignment data. Now what system is asking, as I said, whenever you do the global transfer in the current, in the current legal employer, it will be terminated. Do you want to change that assignment status to inactive, no payroll, inactive payroll eligible? Inactive, no payroll means obviously employee will be terminated. 
and you cannot run even payroll after termination also. Inactive payroll eligible means employee will be terminated, but he is eligible for payroll. Why we required why we required payroll eligibility is maybe some amount is pending. Some of the elements, maybe they are processing after termination. For example, the final settlement. We terminated employee on November 30th, but final settlement will do it after 30 days, let's say. Means 1st January. So in the final settlement, uh, we would like to transfer $500 to employee. So that's a pending amount, final settlement. How we can do? Again, we have to run the payroll, right? Without running the payroll, we cannot go for dispatch the amount to the employee. We must run the payroll, either a deduction or earning to the employee. So we must perform that, right? So that's why we will have status. Let me go for put as an act two payroll eligible. So in the current legal employer, he will be in act two payroll eligible. And obviously the new legal employer, whatever we have selected, there he will be at. Press OK. Here, I said from today itself, global transfer 2022. This November 2022, global transfer. Action is global transfer. And we got this information because we said copy primary assignment information. Copy primary assignment information. That's why all this information has been copied here. Click next button. We can find this. If at all, we would like to go for change the information like job or position or grade, location, this can be changed. It's up to the requirement. Just information has been copied, assignment information. Always it will allow us to make some changes in our assignments over here it is. Click next button. Getting some error messages, okay. While processing the data, cancel and re-enter the transaction, okay. Well, let me cross check once. to start date 22 November 2021 let me go for update let's say we are doing it from today or let's say I'm putting it as December 1st action is a global transfer A reason some internal recruitment choose the destination legal employer
So the request has been submitted. So current legal employer is uh, WAP, US legal entity. WAP, US legal entity. So earlier it was uh, Wipro legal employer, number legal employer. Okay. Press okay. It seems that time the record was locked by someone else. That's the reason. Now, if we search for an employee on December 1st, choose December 1st is an effective date, include terminated work relationship. Click search button. Now I can see two records. Two records I'm able to find here. One, it is inactive. Another one is active. So employee is inactive in one legal entity, is active in another legal entity. This, let me go for active record here. Now this is active from 1st December 2022. This. And legal employer is changed. And what happened? Internal action, it's a global transfer global transfer happen and now click this button history we can find the information about this employee it's a global transfer it look at inactive record let's see Let me go to an actual record here. We can find it will be terminated. We pro legal employer November. This is hire date, termination date, 30th November 2022. That's the termination date. And we can find the history of this here. Right now, this employee status is inactive. Payroll eligible here. Click this button, view history. Employee has hired on 2021. And transfer, global transfer has happened on 1st December. This is global transfer. So whenever we perform the global transfer, what happened? In the current legal employer, the work relationship will be terminated. And in new legal employer, the new work relationship will be created. Nothing but employee will be hired over there. This is how we can go for perform the global transfer. Global transfer, how we can perform. So once we do the global transfer, we can search for an employee here depends on the date whatever we have performed click search button here yes thank you